Oh hey guys, how's it going? Joseph here, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving with your family. And let me ask you something. What did you buy this Black Friday? Well, I told you, you didn't have to wait for Black Friday to take advantage of those amazing prices and deals they had on TVs. They were already available days before Black Friday. So I hope you did manage to purchase something. At least in my case, I bought a brand new soundbar by Samsung. Yes, yeah, so this is a Samsung Q60T soundbar. It has the acoustic beam sound system, adaptive audio, and it also includes the rear speakers and the, and the subwoofer. I haven't done a soundbar review in maybe about three years. And I remember I did a review of something similar back then. But in my case, this soundbar costs less than $300. So let me see if it's worth the money. Come on, let's do this. All right, guys, so before I install it, let me show you what's included in the box. So here we have the mounting brackets, just in case if you want to wall mount the soundbar. The remote control, which is, if you're familiar with Samsung TVs, you'll notice that it looks identical to uh, Samsung TVs, which is good because it's very easy to use. They also include an HDMI cable. Oh, that's nice. There are three power ports. One for the soundbar, one for the uh, rear speaker receiver, and also another one for the subwoofer. And then we have the power converter. This is for the soundbar. So yes, you need to manage to put this somewhere when you install the soundbar. And these are the rear surround speakers. Yes, these are very, very small, very simple speakers there. They're super lightweight as well. But honestly, they do a very good job. I've done a review of uh, these uh, speakers before. Well, actually similar soundbars with the similar speakers before, and they sound very good. This is the receiver for those rear speakers. They are wireless, but they do need to be connected to this receiver through here. And then you don't have to worry about running wires all the way to the front of the soundbar, which is nice. The sound is good. Now let's go to the actual soundbar and here it is it is made of aluminum for the most part it's very minimalistic there's a samsung logo right here in the front the controllers are going to be right here power volume control and i guess this is the uh, ports selection that's it very simple now here on top is where the acoustic beam from samsung is located now this is something that they call panoramic sound. It adds this sort of virtual surround sound, but also it includes uh, DTS-X. So I'm gonna test with movies and also I'm gonna test it with gaming, of course. Now here underneath the soundbar, we have the power port and also there's a USB port. On the other side, we have an optical port for audio and there are two HDMI ports. I know there are HDMI 2.0, because they do support 4K pass-through and also HDR. So one of them is gonna go to either your console or your DVD player, and the other one is gonna go to your TV. So once you power on the soundbar, there is an information window right here that gives you a little bit of information of what's going on, which is pretty nice. So here's the subwoofer. It is very small, very simple. I believe it's a seven inch sub. It is also ported. So I'm gonna tell you guys how it sounds. All right guys, so let me tell you something first. I am connecting this soundbar with my LG C1 OLED and the initial setup, it's super easy. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a demo right here. Maybe you guys can catch up, but I will describe my experience so far.
All right, guys, so let me just explain a little bit my experience because uh, it is really hard for you to hear what I'm hearing through this video. So first of all, what I like is that the sound is very loud and clear, especially when you're watching movies. I notice that the voice from the movie, it's very, very clear. So you don't hear that ups and downs in volume. That's what I like. Second, the bass. Even though it's very small, it it really does hit. I mean, it fulfills the whole room, even though my office is kind of small for this. So it, it works out very good in my, in my experience so far. But the bass, I feel like it still is not as punchy as compared to, for example, my Nakamishi soundbar system, which has dual bass. So uh, if you're looking for that tremble or there's just tremble the whole room you're not gonna find it with this soundbar but that being said I, I think it still sounds very very nice all right guys so I also connected my Xbox Series X through the soundbar and then from the soundbar to the TV via ARC and let me tell you I am so happy to report that everything almost everything works let's go into the Xbox TV settings display settings so I can play this at 4k 60 and I can also play at 1440p 120 Hertz what you cannot play is 4k 120 Hertz let me show you here and here it is pretty much we have all the green check marks but we don't we can't play at 4k at 120 Hertz because it's not HDMI 2.1 but everything else even uh, variable refresh rate and Dolby Vision for gaming. Yes, we can play at with Dolby Vision if you want to. And we can also enjoy Dolby Vision through the soundbar to the TV. All right, guys. So here I am playing Horizon Forza Horizon 5, and I'm using Dolby Vision with the soundbar. I am using Game Pro, and it sounds and looks great. I don't feel any input lag, even though I am connecting it through the soundbar. And also, another thing I notice is that the game optimizer bar also works. Everything works just as normal. You can access all the settings if you want, or the game optimizer setting settings. Let's go over Turn here. When it is safe to do so. And everything works just as normal. VRR is turned on and I am using Dolby Vision so yes it works great for gaming and I am loving this alright guys so I'm going to change it up a little bit you guys saw my previous video that I have this ambient light kit from Neo so this is a Neo 2 like me and I connected the ambient light kit so I have a more immersive uh, surround and also with the surround audio oh my goodness I'm gonna take this to the next level so I'm gonna exit out this pyramid this is shadow of the Tomb Raider here we go guys I'm gonna exit out and the sound in this game is just amazing Especially with this soundbar, it truly sounds like inside. I'm inside a jungle right here. It's really, really good. I'm liking it. Oh man, I can hear the voices right behind me, the music. It is crazy. Look how beautiful this is. I'm playing with HDR. This is just amazing, guys. Alright, guys. So, finally, I have here Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Let me tell you, the sound with the rain is truly immersive. And in combination with the light, of course, it also looks great. Yeah, haven't played this game in a while. It looks fantastic. So, my recommendation, buy this soundbar, it's at a great price right now, less than $300 and it includes the rear speakers, it works with every single gaming option except for 4K 120Hz, but 
you're going to have an amazing experience. I really like that. I was not expecting this from this soundbar, to be honest. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Jolster out.